Depends on housing. It's all about giving to the community, building relationships, and doing good in the world. This is our second year doing this. Uh, it's really very satisfying for us. It's bringing some goodness into the community and bringing our uh, church community together uh, on a, a project that is, is really helpful. It's a motley crew people. that you have to work yeah. with though, right? Okay, and what are we doing? This is my second year on hands-on housing. Last year was so much fun, I thought I'd come back. And I like to do what I can to help other people when the opportunity presents. I just love the fact that we're helping the community and know that she couldn't get this work done without the extra set of hands, so that makes me feel real good. And I love all the other volunteers. <laughs> it just fulfills me to be able to know that I can and still have the capability of helping others in this beautiful world. It's such a wonderful opportunity to get together with our friends and some people we don't know real well and get to, to know them better, but all of us working together to do something and, and make a difference. We've got people like Mr. Prevetti here, <laughs> right? Yeah. Brings the trailer in, drives it, does everything, jack of all trades. He and the people like John in the Unity Congregation are what make this such a joyful event. We're all in this together and, uh, and it just shows the compassion and understanding and love that these people have. Volunteering is a very important issue with me because I think that we who are privileged need to give back to our community. It's for me the perfect example of practical spirituality. I'm just grateful for the opportunity to uh, you know, bring a little joy to our, uh, our owner's property here. So We are doing some beautiful, beautiful work on Melanie's house. So Melanie. <laughs> Yes. I know you're really excited about oh, I am. what's happening. How long have you been in this neighborhood? 30 years. 30 years? 30 years today. Today? Yeah. Oh my gosh, it's an anniversary transformation. Yeah. <laughs> it's helpful to her neighbors uh, who really care for her and uh, help her out as they can. And your neighbors have been just amazing. So I, you are so well loved. They've, they've all come together on this, which has been really cool. They've all lent help, they've lent tools. I have wonderful neighbors. So uh, it's, it's satisfying all the way around, uh, individually, as a community, and as the larger community. You have a lovely property here. Thank you. What has been the most challenging thing about trying to keep this whole thing up? The lung problems. I haven't been able to take care of things like I usually do for yeah. it's about Five years, I haven't been able to yeah. do anything really. Well, we hope you like what you see oh, here. And, I love um, it. It's just what you did, trimming that tree, oh my gosh. My dad planted that for me. Oh. Uh, and it was one out of his, start off of his tree. So he's gone and you managed to save it, so. That's good, Thank you. that's wonderful. And you have a backyard patio now, and I know you were looking forward to that so you can have your family in over here again. Yeah, and having that fence up, oh my goodness. It is so nice. It's, I just can't believe it. Thank you so very much. You are so, so welcome. So much. I just, I'm overwhelmed. It's just beyond my wildest dreams. Well, happy home anniversary, and may you enjoy it. Yeah. I mean, this is kind of the stuff of life, is being able to make a difference. And we, I think sometimes we go, oh man, I'd really like to make a difference. Well, here we are, this is, this is excellent. And I think for UIL, all of us feel that we are all one, and we are here to receive love and to give love and to be together. And this is a great way to do that.